Schwarzer, more news. I engaged another Calvardian squad, but they managed to slip away. Yes, and it seemed like there was something very wrong with them. They didn't speak a word and leapt at us like a pack of beasts. Even I had to get a little serious. But they managed to hold their own for a moment before suddenly vanishing. No. We've searched the area thoroughly, and there don't seem to be any secret passages whatsoever. They were enveloped in a red light, and their presence completely vanished. This is Randy. We've got activity on our end. We ran into some weirdos like that, too. It was scary just how strong and fast they were. Then they vanished, just like yours. We can't find any signs of hidden passages either. We'll continue our search. Schwarzer, speak with your allies about this. See if any of them have answers. We'll keep looking too. Be careful, everyone. Rain! I was just about to contact you! Is that so? I believe those agents may have been converted into Night Touched. The more accurate term is not familiar. They were a race of beings that appeared in Heimdall 200 years ago. They had superhuman strength and could travel along spirit paths at will. Sometimes they would take in powerful humans and convert them into their own. The night touched. That's right. I was finally able to map out Heimdall's spirit veins. They're arranged like a vortex, with the center somewhere in the northwest part of the city. I heard what's happening. 
The northwest section of the city is where the turbulence is coming from, too. According to Zio, the epicenter is a tall building on top of a hill. So you've got an idea? We'll start heading there, then. We now begin our advance. I'll inform the others. Please, go on ahead. Instructor! We gotta get moving. Our destination is... Yeah, the Imperial Museum in the Laika District. Today. Yes. This can't be a coincidence, given the strangeness going on underground. We'll need to contact the military police, or even the Heimdall Cathedral.
Rain, it would seem there is a situation. It's a bit far. However, the spirit veins are extremely active right now. I shall search for a simple spirit path I might use to get to you. I've located your mana. We should be able to speak telepathically from here on. What? It's... everywhere! Are these the catacombs? No. Space itself has been warped here. Probably due to that gate, and all this scarlet pleroma grass. <laughs> that gate... it resembles the one in the island ruins. Ah, the Soul Shrine, was it? One of the shrines built all over Erebonia by the people known as the Gnomes. Yeah, maybe... Ash? <laughs> I don't get what's going on, but these flowers are the cause of all this crap, right? So let's just whack a few of these damn weeds! Hey! Oh, you're so reckless. Well, if it works, then... The hell? They grew back? Due to the strong magical energies here, I would guess. B but then, how do we... Everyone, look! Members of the Hercules Squad! Hey, this ain't good, is it? They almost look like they're sleepwalking. This is what Emma was talking about! The night touched! Everyone, prepare for battle! They're coming! Their, their power and speed were beyond human. They were strong enough before, but now... It's as though they've completely lost their sense of self. Get back! Ah! Ah! Bastards! Clown Soleus! What's going on? It's like they're living corpses. <sighs> Put all your power into your attacks! Think of them as puppets! Remember everything you've learned up till now! Uh. Damn it! No need to tell us that! <laughs> A passing mark. It's her. You see, there is a method to suppress these loathsome creatures. It is rather simple. You only need to temporarily sever their chi from their bodies. <laughs> or something like that. Now... Reen Schwarzer, New Class 7, know this. The current situation is even worse than you may imagine. What lies ahead of you is the nest where it slumbers. The calamity that destroyed Heimdall 900 years ago will reawaken soon. Uh, that's... You mean, 
The legendary Dark Dragon? Are you saying it wasn't destroyed? No. It was, indeed, slain 800 years ago at the hand of Emperor Hector's Vermilion Knight. But after the Vermilion Castle appeared and those fools started taking action, its corpse began to stir. Now, the curse of the land gains power and the dragon's body is rebuilding itself. It is the greatest and most terrible cryptid of all, capable of swallowing the entirety of Heimdall in its darkness. Screw that! That may have been possible back then, but now? The beast can chain down human souls to create a nearly endless number of Night Touched. The destruction 200 years ago was caused by only a handful of people exposed to the miasma. However, if it were to spread through Heimdall like a plague, what would happen? It would be a pandemic. <laughs> Are you serious? Use these well. I must take care of my own mission. My covenant from ancient times still holds. You can do as you wish. Emma and company will be here before long. Oh. Hold on. So are you really Emma's? Wait! Can you at least tell me your name this time? If possible, I'd like to hear it from you. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. I am the elder of the Hexen clan, Roselia Milstein. Emma's grandmother, Celine's creator, and the one who taught Vita everything she knows. But you may call me Rose. Farewell for now. Uh... uh... Is this some kind of joke? She was kidding about being Emma's grandmother, right? Well, they're not related by blood, but... Anyway, one thing's for certain. Heimdall is facing a crisis. <laughs> yes. Reen! Oh. Uh, everyone! This is... Uh, what is this overwhelming miasma? It reminds me of the Infernal Castle. I presume those are the Calvardian agents. Those strips of paper! What in the world is going on here? Alright, so... What in the world? Night touched? So you're saying they could spread throughout the whole city? This is way past bad. It's gonna do a heck of a lot more than just cause a panic. Yeah, but it'd be impossible to evacuate all of Heimdall in time. You said Emma's grandma went in there already? Emma, is she really the elder of the Hexen clan? Yes, she certainly is. The Night Touched have been a big concern of her since ancient times. She said she was going to take care of them herself, but maybe she changed her mind. Considering she gave you those talismans. I was wondering, what are these things? They're Night Touch sealing talismans. I've heard those strips of paper were developed after the incident 200 years ago. I'm sure you'll find them extremely useful up ahead. I take that to mean we'll be encountering more of these night touched on the other side of that gate. Yeah. I'm sure there will be quite a number of them waiting for us. Considering everyone who disappeared during our underground cleanup operation. And I have a feeling there will be plenty of other fiends besides. Yes, undoubtedly. You should consider the Dark Dragon Sanctuary even more dangerous than the Infernal Castle. Yeah, but, so what if it is? 
You're right. Even if it's more dangerous than the Infernal Castle, we've all grown a lot since then. Mm-hmm. In mind and body. I know I've been practicing my orbital staff tons. If the castle was meant to reenact a disaster from the Middle Ages, this is simply the same thing, but from the Dark Ages instead. Heimdall may be a city with some dark shadows and bad history, but it's also my hometown. As a member of Class 7, a guardian of the Blaze, and for the sake of my grandmother. The Noblesse Oblige may be a dying creed. I shall fulfill my duty and put an end to this threat. Protecting the safety of the people is what Bracers do. As a member of Class 7, and a friend of Erebonia, I'll put everything I have into this. Ooh, me too, me too! Even if the rest of the Intelligence Division is sitting back for now. <laughs> you guys. We're not going to sit back either. I'll show you what I've gained during my time in Class 7. And the soul of the Special Support Section, too. This is one of my hometowns. And I shall put both my blades and my family's name on the line to defend it. I think I finally see the purpose of my inclusion in Class 7. For Elise, the princess, and my dear instructor, and for my very own path as well. It's about time we get to show off how much we've caught up to you. Yeah, this time, we won't differentiate between old and new. We are all members of Class 7. You too, Celine. Let's go! Of course. This place... The Dark Dragon Sanctuary. The cryptid that turned Heimdall into a city of the dead lies further within. Looks like we've got three entrances ahead of us. I believe they're a type of spiritual pathway. It's said that 800 years ago, Emperor Hector had to split his troops into three. In that case, shall we handle this like the naval fortress? I'm sure there'll be traps here too. Time is short. Let's get started. If martial law is declared now, it could lead to mass panic. They might even use the damage from the Night Touch as an excuse to start a war with Calvert. What? Well, it isn't impossible. Yeah. It's not really Claire or Lecter's style to pull a stunt like that, but... Chancellor Osborne and my brother are a different story. <laughs> Things are really heating up now! We need to stop them before Dad's division gets involved! Yeah. Class 7, let's give it everything we've got. I want us to split up evenly into three balanced teams. Let me hear your opinions on who should go where. Let's get started. All of Class 7 will now begin its assault on the Dark Dragon Sanctuary. We need to stop what's behind the scenes from converging with what's on the surface. Let's put everything we've learned into this. May the goddess guide us. Good luck, everyone.
Okay, let's get started. For the honor of Thors. Senior Bracer, Fee Clausel, ready to go. I won't allow the city I was born and raised in to be swallowed by darkness! Let us go! Clown Soleus! Thor's Military Academy, Class 7, move out! Let's save the people of this city from danger! In the name of the Blades of Vander! My melody will guide us through this dark fog! I shall fulfill my duty as a noble and put an end to this threat. I'll find the source of the malicious wind coursing through this land. <laughs> we'll win for sure. I swear it on the honor of the Bracer Guilds supporting Gauntlet. Let's uncover the truth of what's happening to this land. We will purify the darkness that has been festering here for hundreds of years. Let's do it, Lammy! Enough talk! Let's just rush through! You're all okay. I feel tremendous power. As do I. I suspect just ahead lies our target. Let's all go together. Yeah, but we should probably leave a team here just to play it safe. 
This isn't gonna be a walk in the park, that's for sure. It's the most terrible cryptid in the history of Erebonia. We had better look over our gear and formation one last time before we challenge it. New Class 7, are you prepared for what lies ahead? Of course we are, old-timer! Then let us go, and may the wind and the goddess bless us. Yes, we can't let Heimdall be shrouded in darkness again. Good luck, everyone! Its presence is overwhelming. It's on a completely different level from the bones we fought way back when. Yeah, it seems that was just a shell of the real thing. Its true form is terrifying. You made me wait, young ones. Grandmother! <sighs> You're the one who ran off ahead. I would have preferred to do this on my own. But given how much it has restored itself, that is no longer an option. On top of that, my power is not what it once was. Figures. A being even greater than the Vermilion Apocalypse. Though it is only newly reborn, it is still powerful enough to obliterate all of Heimdall. Therefore, we must slay it before it can do that. leave this task to you, the children of this era. Class 7. Show me your strength. <laughs> Sounds to me like a convenient excuse to push things onto us. She's right, though. This is our trial. We can't lose. We're the only ones who can stop this disaster and the war. I swear upon these blades, I will triumph. I'll fight to make sure the weapons made by my family never need to be used for anything besides protecting people! I'll use this blade, and the will entrusted to me by my father to banish the darkness of Heimdall! Milliam, Ergetlum, please! You got it! Tilly, Sammy, let's do this! Tomorrow is the Summer Festival! Let's make sure it's one filled with fun and smiles. In order to rid the land of this miasma, I will become a wing of light and let loose a mighty gale. We just gotta kick that thing's ass, right? I like it when stuff's nice and simple. This will be one of our final battles. I will put my all into it. I guess it's kind of like the biggest, baddest wanted monster ever. Damn right. We'll protect everyone up above and put a stop to this war before it starts. Please watch us, Grandmother. I'll make you explain everything later. How about Vita, the gnomes, and everything else? Thor's Military Academy, Class 7, new and old. Let's put this disaster from the Dark Ages back into the ground. Fight as one! Fight with everything you have! And destroy this monster! Yeah!
isn't enough? Uh, it's too much for us. Grandmother, could it be? It's just like with Emperor Hector. Correct. You will need a Zemurian made weapon. Reen Schwarzer, now is the time to fulfill your duty. Yes. Yuna, call your machine! Got it! Heed my call. Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Acknowledged. Be careful! That's what cursed the Vermilion Knight! Rose, you have it ready, don't you? Indeed. Leave the rest to me. For you to return and spread this curse once more. What a curious turn of events. Go now and slumber once more. In Adios' arms. It's back to normal. Well, was all that just some bad dream? No. It was unmistakably real. The Pleroma grass has vanished completely. Perhaps because the root of the problem is no more. <sighs> what a pain in my ass. <sighs> Looks like they'll all make it through. They're pretty beat up, though. I see. Oh, what a relief. I think the worst of it is behind us. Can we now say that the crisis is averted? Yes, most likely. Or is there something you neglected to mention, Grandmother? It is true we do not need to worry about the Dark Dragon any longer. However, there are still other threats looming over us. As unhelpfully vague as ever. I won't let you wriggle out of giving me answers this time. Why didn't you tell me you were going all over Erebonia? Where is Vita, and what is she doing? Y you don't need to glare at me so. I had good reason to do what I did. It's because you're so secretive that you always end up a step behind. Like when Vita joined Ouroboros, or when the Infernal Castle appeared. 
Not to mention, everything about you is disorderly, right down to your diet! I... have been watching my intake, if nothing else. Uh, are they always like this? Pretty much. Except where magic is concerned. Hey, Celine! Your creator requires assistance! Do something to get me out of this lecture! Grandmother! Ah! Good grief. I do sympathize, though. I understand you have your mission, but Emma's been worried sick. And I'm sure Vita feels the same way. <laughs> that prodigal child might act like nothing is wrong, but she can be rather bumbling at times. I was certain she had come to Heimdall, so I wanted to find her. However, it would seem we have found someone else instead. <laughs> Him? <laughs> Azure Siegfried. Just like I remember. How is that even... I was told, but... No, there's no way. I came to see how you guys were handling things, but... I didn't expect I'd get to see a legend while I was at it. The star of Red Moon Rose herself, Crimson Roselia. What? The heroine in that novel is... She's a member of the church, and also a vampire. I thought she was supposed to have been a bit older, though. Well, there are some extenuating circumstances. But it's true. That story was based off her. I've heard of this novel. It seems it was riddled with embellishments, however. While it is true that I have done business with the church, I have never been part of it. But, on the topic of my age... There is nothing I can say that will not sound like an excuse, so I will hold my tongue. Anyway, I have no further business here. If the Black came here in person, it would be another matter. But I have no interest in one of his agents. Grandmother! W wait are you... There are other things I need to do. We will speak once more during the Summer Festival. Farewell, Class 7. You may do what you wish for now. Oh. My word, she's just as bad as Vita. Poor Emma. Yes, her grandmother was certainly something. But her aside. <laughs> that was quite the show. Well, since the rest of us are all still here, how about a battle? <clears throat> You're... Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Oh? There's something all of us are sure about, but it'd be pointless to say it to you. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, I have no past. All I have is a mission and far too much time on my hands. So, how many of you are doing this? I don't mind taking you all on. <sighs> He's good. Instructor! Green! This won't be like two years ago when it was three on one. If you're doing this alone, I'll represent Class 7 by myself. There are some things that can only be said through the Clash of Blades. Even if you are using guns. Interesting. Uh, instructor? Hey, you sure about this? Don't worry! Rain's gonna be fine! Yes. His blade is that of the Eight Leaves. 
He's the Ashen Chevalier, and more than that, he's our instructor. You're better than I expected. <sighs> Today's the day that mask of yours finally comes off. <laughs> What's this Siegfried crap? Do you think it sounds cool or something? Well? Crow? Uh. Reen. I told you it's no use. Come, Ordeen! Your knight. So it is. But why? <laughs> Let me give you a warning. What happened today was a fluke. Although, that might have been part of his plan, too. What are you talking about? What plan? I'm just a representative. I'm in no position to tell you. Consider this info payment as thanks for the battle. Don't expect any interest, all right? You know there was interest on this, right? How much do you suppose you really owe me after half a year? Oh, man, what kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Wait, do you really remember nothing? Not even a little bit? <gasps> Instructor... Reen... Perhaps my role is to... What was that memory? The Vern Company? Feels light in my hand. And this smell... It's nothing. Just a headache from all the crap we went through today. I feel as though I missed something very important. No, we're all just tired. Contacting the Bracer Guild and all other parties. We've arrested members of the Calvert Special Force. Yes, we averted the crisis. What's your status? Yep, it's all taken care of. The place is... We've now entered the endgame. Adios willing, my backup plan will remain nothing more than a backup. 